State Capitol and right now in Lansing, there are crowds of lobbyists. They're all waiting outside the House of Representatives. They're working to influence lawmakers who are making decisions on an energy bill for our state. Many lobbyists are from area schools who say they're concerned that schools could lose millions under this legislation. The pressure to take on this bill first came from DTE and Consumers Energy. They wanted lawmakers to crack down on the electric choice market. Businesses that buy surplus electricity then sell it at a lower cost. The state's main utilities told lawmakers it needed to happen before they would invest in new energy plants. For schools and other choice customers, this brings concerns. As a parent, I think every parent should uh, be concerned. Mark Burton is from the Tri-County Alliance for Public Education. He says in Wayne, Oakland and Macomb, almost all schools buy from alternative electric suppliers because it saves them millions of dollars. The loss of those savings will result in teacher salaries, essentially, and layoffs. Uh, energy is going to pass. I'm confident. Republican Representative Peter Lucido from Macomb County said the governor pulled an all-nighter last night with Republican representatives, pressuring them to come up with a compromise. Lucido says he told the governor the bill needed to protect schools. We have our jails, our county building. We have our community college, Macomb, which those two campuses save about a half a million dollars a year on choice. Therefore. Why would we want to give that up? What are we going to backfill it with? Taxpayers' dollars? I don't think so. Republican representatives say they reached a compromise, agreeing to keep choice. Critics say their understanding is the bill would still increase costs for choice customers by allowing a commission to increase fees passed on. DTE says it's a fair deal. Republican Senator Patrick Colbeck says he doubts he will vote for the bill when it goes to the Senate. He says it doesn't benefit consumers. It's kind of a cowardly way of going off and approaching things. you got to take accountability for when you're going to go off and increase those fees. After the House, this bill still has to go to the Senate and the governor for approval in order to become law. In Lansing, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.